So I'm going to read from the book of Galatians 3, 3 and 4, which says, How foolish can you be? After starting your new lives in the spirits, why are you now trying to become perfect by your own human effort? Have you experienced so much for nothing? Surely it was not in vain, was it? And uh, today I'm just grateful for for God's word. I'm grateful for the spirit. I am. I'm grateful for supportive community. I'm grateful for family and friends. Sorry, everyone. Um, I needed to be reminded of this particular verse because, um, you know, the the, the and, and I think we all know this. You know, the the walk to Christianity is a is a long and tedious journey. You know, um, we don't always get it right. And society tends to hold us to the standard that we should get it right. You know, that like we don't make mistakes so that, you know, we they try to separate us from the human effort that goes behind being a Christian, you know. And I think that this um, this Bible group um, is one of those uh it's one of those things that sort of helps you to, to, to remain in line. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's easier for you to walk, take the walk as a Christian when you have a good support system, you know, because when you already are doing it by yourself, like your human effort behind anything will fail you always, you know? And that's why it's so important for us to ask God to be a part of everything in our lives. Because you see, when God is in everything, that means that you have a spirit with you in whatever you do. When you're to work, you carry God with you to work. You know, when you're dealing with your children, you carry God with you to deal with your children. When you, I mean, the simplest things, you know what I mean? Anything, whatever, when you walk out of your house of the day, you know, you carry God with you and you carry God with you wherever you go. And that's why um, I think the author was just saying a reminder here, you know, He's saying, after you start your new lives in the spirit, why are you now trying to become perfect? You know, like basically leave room for error. You know, don't beat yourself up. And it's something that I do to myself all the time, you know, because I, I'll be like, dread, you know, I, I slip back up or, you know, I, you know, I sorry, it not, not like I meant to, but, you know, you, <clears throat> you just end up getting caught up sometimes, but. Whenever I think of the support system that I have behind me and I think about, you know, just being able to be in a position where I, as people that I could go to in prayer and go with and say, hey, man, I need y'all to pray for me. Hey, I need y'all to keep me covered. Hey, I need y'all to, to, you know, let's try buying the enemy so that we could be remain protected and we could do this together. I think that it makes the journey just a little bit easier, you know. So, again, everyone here, thank you for for joining me on my journey. Thank you for being here for me. And most importantly, thank you for praying for me and praying with me every morning. I'm Carrie and I relinquish my mic.